right guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is March 31st, 2020, so we're in the middle of all the quarantine stuff that is going on, but the footage that you just saw, which is the old Jeep cold start, and the footage that you're going to see was filmed sometime in the end of October. So this that's when I redid the exhaust on the Jeep. And now I've finally gotten around to editing it. All right, so given that, enjoy this video of simpler times where I'm installing a uh, new exhaust on my Jeep because it interferes with the track bar. Uh, when I lifted it, the new track bar was making contact with the old tailpipe. Just one of those things you lift it, you don't know, you do it. And then upon further inspection, I found that there were pinholes in the muffler. So that was going. And then um, once I actually took everything off, turns out that I had this rattle in park. It's the uh, honeycomb within the cat that's come loose from the outer wall. So I have a lot of reasons to replace everything. I'm actually replacing from uh, the header back, not the header itself, but from the header back. So the exhaust that I'm putting on is a two and a half inch diameter exhaust sold by Colac Performance and Off-Road out of Arizona. They're super friendly. Um, that's where I bought my lift kit actually too. And then I have to build the intermediate pipe, which is going to be in kind of later videos. So enjoy this video. I'm going to hack off the old exhaust and start fitting up that tailpipe and uh, the muffler and cat and everything to kind of see what needs to happen next and uh, get everything prepped. I got the old exhaust off, so I'm going to start uh, fitting the tailpipe, make sure that it all clears since that is the main main issue. I don't have, hopefully I won't have to do anything for it. And then it'll be on to fitting the muffler and the cat, and then I can start working on the downpipe.
Gonna have to take the uh, tailpipe off again um, to weld on the exhaust tip. Looks like it's gonna work. Uh, it's kind of it, it, it's kind of weird how it routes, but it it should be okay with the all the angles that are there. I think um, worst case you can always hack at it a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, it looks like there's plenty of room between it and the gas tank and the heat shield that shields the gas tank and the heat shield on the floor. So we will. Uh, Go on to the next step. So I put the track part back on just with the just with the bolt on with the, the nut loose. So I can take it off since we'll have to take it off again. But yeah. Progress. Clears there, clears there, clears there. It looks like there's a little gap behind that. It could maybe come down a little bit, but we'll deal with that when we do the hanger. <laughs> I wire tied the uh, exhaust pipe down to this because it kept wanting to pop up. And then this is probably unnecessary at this point. Oh, no, I lied. If we do do higher, we'll cut it here and shorten it by like an inch or something. Pull, basically pull this up into it. Should be fine, this looks good back here. So that's the uh, tailpipe basically in again. We'll need to adjust the front to back a little as we mount everything. I don't know if I can do much more than that. We are touching there. I think I have to pull an inch or so out of this or something this needs to come down an inch that's what it is this needs to be cut so let's hopefully not drop everything do this drop it by one or ten you know whatever all right and you can see where this is low now but, so we're gonna have to cut that to get it to slide in further and get it to the right height. But, better clearance on the back side. Here I can actually get my fingers behind it. There's clearance all around. This is in the same place.
All right, we're up close and personal. So I've just been messing around with the tailpipe and it was kind of a trick to get it to fit. Um, there's, a, there's a lot a lot in the way down here. All right, so obviously goal number one was to get it around the track bar. I think I got, you know, finger of space there. Good finger of space between the gas tank. It needs to, it, it's not really settling on the jack stand super great, so it can slide around a little bit. There's a little bit of play here. Um, can we get it? There's, a, there's enough room back here. It's not touching anything. There's plenty of room between the floorboard. And then this is where it gets fun. So I just have the bend in kind of, you know, it's not, not great. So I'm going to have to flip my muffler upside down in order to get that at the right side. But everything clears, sway bar and everything, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll play with the muffler height and everything to get that to clear and play with the length of this tube here. But I think everything's going to fit. I'm going to see where it's, it's got some room here. Um, I'm not sure about the hanger that came with this. It uh, it didn't let me get to where I am now, but maybe it will when I um, go and deal with that. So anyways, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get more done today. I'm kinda tired. All right, back in the future. We're gonna cut the video here. Um, it's gonna be four parts, actually. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See ya.